Okay, this video is uh, dealing with um, a theist's point of view, uh, a theist's defense. When asked uh, those paradoxes that lead people to be atheists, and I'll deal with some important paradoxes uh, which I will need to remember. That's why I'm doing this video. The video is primarily for me and for all other theists uh, who wish to defend themselves uh, in a logical way. The first thing I'll deal with is that uh, paradox where uh, an atheist will come to you and say um, God is all-powerful, that's agreed, is omnipotent, then he can create a weapon that can destroy everything. Yeah and he can also create a weapon that can never be destroyed by anything if that's true what will happen if they meet the simple answer to that paradox is if god's uh, omniscient all-knowing why would he do something silly like that he'll simply choose not to do it because he knows that if there's a possibility of the two meeting that uh you know that's illogical to create those two weapons is illogical I'm not saying I'm the mind of the Almighty but if somebody's uh, omniscient yeah why would he create something silly like that it's the simple answer is if you're all-knowing why would you create something silly like that so he will never create a scenario where where the most uh, powerful weapon in the world meets the most powerful defensive weapon in the world uh, so that scenario will never take place simple as that uh, another thing that uh, atheists uh, come at us with theists is that they ask us to prove the existence of the Almighty a simple answer to that is we have never claimed uh, me at least they never claimed that I can prove the existence of the Almighty now, can you conclusively, 100%, prove that the Almighty doesn't exist? No, you cannot. You, you go back to the Big Bang and then you start saying everything came from nothing, but nothing is not really nothing. But uh, there's particles that pop in and out of existence. But where does the th uh, do the things in your nothing that's not nothing come from? Yeah? nothing has things in it if you found nothing that has things in it then you haven't found nothing so anyway you that's a recurring uh paradox yeah then where do the things uh that come in and out of nothing come from yeah and then you keep going around in circles so you can never disprove the existence of the almighty and i can never prove the existence of uh the almighty that's why it's called faith it's a matter of faith yeah you either believe or you don't if you try to prove you won't be able to find it if you try to disprove you won't be able to disprove so that answers that question yeah so I just needed to make this video um, to actually uh, in case I get confused in the future I can have a reference point and then uh, I can uh, 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 review this video to, to, to see how to answer uh, the, the theist problem so those of us who have faith that's exactly what it is faith yeah you don't you you accept that you can never prove it one way or another you just choose a side those of you who are faithless you choose to believe that there is not but I, ha I don't want to reveal too much but I have evidence that the Almighty exists he might not exist exactly the same way as this described uh, in scripture because obviously those people who conquered uh, the Middle East where the scriptures came from it tended to add their own take on history uh, and they, they tended to put words in the Almighty and uh, they even added in things which were not there at the beginning when it comes to the story of Christ but uh, the religious method uh, is still in there and it's still useful for for us to when we reach paradoxes like that we just leave it to the Almighty uh, and uh, and then we, we move on from there uh, because uh the the almighty for me uh, i choose to have faith 
that he's there uh, but the nature of the Almighty can only be seen uh, from a global scale because when you look closer there's nothing there yeah if you look beyond a certain scale you see nothing yeah so you can only see it at a certain you have to accept and have faith that the Almighty is there or you can choose not to accept it yeah but if you try to prove that the Almighty is not there you can never do that yeah so you can never prove your side either so we're stuck we can never prove each other's side so you can't ask me to prove the Almighty when I've told you that it's a matter of faith yeah and uh, that's it